My name is Leah Saddam, and I'm the valedictorian of the class 2023 at Sally B. Howard. I want to thank the school for allowing me to take the time and to address my outstanding peers. I want to also express gratitude to the parents, guardians, family members, teachers, friends, leaders, and board members who are attending today and showing your support. We couldn't be here without you. I'm so proud of my class for putting in the work to stand here before me. Though some say high school will be the best years of your life, it is no walk in the park. We didn't have the typical high school experience. We spent our first year of high school staring at a screen, unable to make friendships or seek companionship, alone. Even when school was back in session, our faces went unseen. We had to mask ourselves. However, we didn't mask our desires. We pushed forward and made connections. We recovered. Even with the occasional outbreak after two weeks of absence, one could return to greetings from friends. It was as if no time passed. However, our struggles were not over, though it was extreme. We came to high school children, and we are now adults. Our hunger for freedom was met with a plethora of responsibilities. However, I can truly say those before me have risen to the task. We have learned over the years the work it takes to pass the scrutiny of English teachers reviewing our essays. My class once signed an agreement that a lowercase i standing alone would get 10 points off the assignment's final grade. <laughs> Such simple mistakes were treated sternly to prepare us for our future. Some of our family members here probably heard us at one, one time or another complain about a map project. <laughs> Yet the same map project that forced me to stand nervously in front of my peers, desperate to remember curriculum, has prepared me for this speech. Every action taken by our teachers to challenge us has only made us stronger. However, our resilience is not our only strength. Community. As a new student, last year I was frankly scared as to how I'd fit into this new social group. But I have never felt, once felt that I didn't belong. I'm sure the other new students here agree that the Sally B. Howard community is one that is open to others and even inviting. I will remember fondly the memories we made together. The daily fist bumps from Enrique that I would always be like to see. Every class turned into a theater with Angel. The debates with Mr. Joseph Sidney held always advocating with Kiana for a more accommodating workload. I couldn't have predicted the sheer amount of laughter I'd go on to share with those in front of me. I don't look at my peers as strangers, but rather as familiar faces. Friends, I feel, are more like family. I see names, I see futures, I see success. But let me not get ahead of myself. I see success stories waiting to happen. Our journey isn't over. We have overcome a period of hard work. And as many have put it before me, we live through uncertain times when a new journey is about to begin. I have discussed many versions of success with my peers. Each version is unique yet ambiguous, a general outline with no singular destination. A computer science major, future star, archivist, stylist, and more. We all have such varying dreams, but we've all felt the uncertainty of picking a path. The truth of the matter is, there is no one way of life. Sally B. Howard has prepared us for any path we may take by teaching us to take advantage of any opportunities presented. As many have said it before me, it is not just your brain, but your heart that matters. We have been prepared to be kind, loving, thoughtful, and connected with others. Connections make the difference in the distance you will travel. Most of all, I want you to remember, success is not defined by one's status, wealth, or looks is defined by one's growth. I encourage my class to spread this mentality, to seize the opportunities presented us. Most of all, grow as a person. Learn to love not just others, but yourself. Lastly, let me introduce the person who made this all happen. A woman who does not just take pride in her school or her students, who would often introduce us in the biotechnology lab like a proud mother, an advocate for change and acceptance, our very own role model who pushes us to be our best selves, Dr. Wood.